Hey, this is Emily with Snake Discovery. Dubia roaches are probably one of the best insects to feed your reptiles, in my opinion, because they have less of an exoskeleton than crickets do, so they're less likely to plug up your reptile. They also don't bite like superworms can. They don't chirp like crickets do. They don't smell, and they are very easy to keep alive. So they're just a really good insect to feed your reptile for many reasons. And you can also feed a very young roach to smaller reptiles, or a bigger one to a medium-sized reptile. This would be good for like an adult bearded dragon. Or if you have something like a tegu, you could even feed an adult cockroach to it. So you can feed really any size of reptile with just different life stages of the uh, cockroach. So I'm going to show you my active colony here so you can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you how to set up a colony of your own so you can breed your own food. Here's one of my breeding colonies of cockroaches. They have a large water dish with uh, water crystals, not actual water. Uh, a lot of cardboard to climb on, food scattered about. And you kind of have to dig to get to the cockroaches. They're not really going to be on the surface at all because they don't really like the light. So let's set one of these up. All right, so you've got a large tote. Uh, they need lots of room, but you also want to overstock them too. Use paper towel as a base. And then a trick that I've learned is to add food every step of the way. Otherwise, if there's not enough food, they will eat each other. I just use a high quality cat food, like Simply Nourish. And then we're going to start adding cardboard. We'll add some food. And we'll keep adding more cardboard and food, alternatively, until we have a decent amount in there. Alright, so we're done with that step. Now we need water. I'm going to clear off some space. And you can get these water crystals at any pet store pre-mixed, but you can also get them cheaper if you buy this bag at Home Depot. And I think it was six or seven dollars and it's lasted me a very long time. But you just mix these crystals. I'll show you what they look like here. Mix these with water and then they will expand and provide a source of water for your cockroaches. To make the water, mix about one part crystals to four parts warm water. After about five to 10 minutes, the crystals will have expanded and they'll be ready to use. You can add some more water so that they expand a bit more or vice versa. Now we're ready for the roaches. We'll grab some here. They're very hardy. They don't mind being bounced around a little. We're going to top it off with a lid, of course. A modified lid, I should say. I cut a hole in this and I use screen door netting to provide ventilation while also keeping them uh, in their container. But if you don't do this step and you just poke holes in the lid, everything will mold. So this is a very important step too. When you're first setting up your new colony, you need a good ratio of males to females. I would recommend at least 10 males and 20 females, the more the merrier, of course. And to tell them apart is easy. Females like this one are shiny, but they have no wings. Males like this one do have wings, but they can't fly. It's more of like a glorified fall. And until they become an adult, they're just this brown color. And so it's kind of hard to tell. So that's why you just have to wait until they become an adult before you can uh, sex them. You'll get these occasionally too. Every time somebody finds their first cockroach like this, they think, oh my god, I just created the very first albino cockroach. But it's just a roach that recently shed its skin. So in just a couple of hours, it'll be brown, just like all of the other ones in there. Although it is the healthiest to feed at this point, because since it doesn't have a hardened exoskeleton, uh, there's less chitin in it, so that does make it healthier. So if you see one of these, I'm having trouble focusing on it. Uh, if you see one of these, just feed it off right away. Once you have the colony set up, one of the best things you can do is just put them in a dark closet in a warm room of your house and then forget about them. They'll do their thing. Happy roach breeding. Aw, look at his little eyes.